Welcome back to another episode of the 1.16 Survival Let's Play series. In the last episode we built this villager hall to store the villagers and I have finished the inside now, or well, mostly the inside, we just need to breed up more of the villagers to fill up the empty spots. And then I'm going to do some decoration up top, but apart from that the villager hall is completely done. This episode I'm going to add in some little details around the starting village area thing that we've built. So I'm going to add like fountain here paths connecting everything and make it just look a little bit nicer to tie it up when I eventually move up that way somewhere to build a village. And I'm going to build all that with a time lapse so I hope you enjoy. And time lapse is over. Hope you enjoyed the time lapse of that. But now I'm going to move on to building a wheat field in this area between the blacksmith and my house, and it's going to go all the way down to the river. I'm going to have a little stream flowing from somewhere around here down into the river. First of all, I need to clear out this hill and make it a bit more flat. Oh no. Oh no. Don't die. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. Oh no. So this farm will be slightly functional, mostly for the villagers to give them bread, but mostly aesthetically there. For the sides of the farm I wanna add like a, a broken stone wall kind of thing. So this entire area in here will be filled up with wheat, so I might as well get to that now. Like that. And then from here I want to add a bit of pathing, so I'm up to about there. Okay, so now we're going to fill most of this in with wheat. So we'll start from the existing water source.
fire area filled in. I'm going to come through, add some lighting and a few details here and there, and it should turn out pretty good. For the light sources, I'm just going to place you. So I'm going to place one there, like that. Maybe place some commander side under them. Oops. Just make it look a bit better. In some of the corners of around the fence, I'm going to add like a little, little bit of leaves here and there to break up a bit of the textures. Now that the wheat farm's done, I'm going to build a mini entrance to the mine over there just to make that stand out a little bit. And then this will basically be this entire area finished and I'll be ready to move on. So for this mine entrance, I'm going to build like a little pillars going up and then a diagonal roof going across which should add like a little frame sort of texture to it. So we're going to go up by about four on the side and then we'll go up by about three here. For the curved roof I'm going to sort of a mixture of like slabs and Full blocks. Okay. Yeah, something like that. And then place a block there, one going there. And then if I go make some fences, place that there. Go something like that. Now that I've got the basic framework done, I'm gonna Decorate the cliff behind it a little bit, not too much, but just a bit, so that looks a bit nicer. So first of all, we're gonna mine out a little bit of space in here. It's like this. In here, I'm gonna just build up a little, little thing. So I got through this. Maybe a few andesite. Something basic like that should do. And if I place this here, I can then get a minecart and place it like there. I guess now the inside of the cave looks quite nice. Now I just need to do the cliff on the outside. Let's start from here. We're gonna make it go up and curve like like that. And then to decorate this, I'm going to grab some leaves. But the leaves, I'm just gonna go simple thing like this. I'm gonna blend in the terrain with the, this. There we go, so now the mine is mostly done. I could add a few more details here and there, but for the most part, I think that's pretty much done. Anyway, I've run out of time today, so this is all I can do for this episode, so I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next episode. Goodbye.